One of the easiest things you can do to make your DTF graphic feel softer and more breathable is a color knockout. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three fast and effective ways in Photoshop to knock out black from your designs. And stick around to the end, I'll answer a few common questions I get about this process. Let's set up a quick visual check to monitor our results as we go. Add a new layer. Hit Shift Delete to fill with black. Move it underneath your design layer and hide it for now. We'll toggle this on later to verify our design still looks good. First, color range selection. Start by selecting your design layer and make sure it's unlocked. Head to the top menu, select color range. Use the eyedropper tool to click on the black in your design. If you notice variations like the black inside the dragon's head being slightly lighter, grab the plus eyedropper and click those areas too. The preview window shows what's selected. Once you've got all the black selected, check invert and click OK. Now click the layer mask icon to apply the selection as a mask. Let's zoom in and check for semi-transparent pixels. Yup, there are some. With the mask selected, go to Image, Adjustments, Threshold. Leave the slider at the midpoint and hit OK. This forces your mask to use only black or white, ensuring a clean knockout with no unwanted semi-transparent pixels. Turn on the black background layer to double check and yeah, we're good. Second, the magic wand tool. This one used to be my go-to. Make sure your layer is selected and unlocked. Press W for the magic wand tool. In the options bar, set tolerance to 10, enable add to selection, check anti-alias, and make sure contiguous is unchecked. Click on the black background. If needed, click on other black areas inside the design as well. Once all of the black is selected, use the shortcut Command-Shift-I on a Mac or Control-Shift-I on a PC to invert the selection, then click the layer mask icon. Like before, apply a threshold to the mask to eliminate any semi-transparent pixels. Turn on the black background to confirm. Yep, we've got a clean knockout. And third is the blend if option in the layer style panel. This is the fastest method, but it's only useful for knocking out pure white or pure black. Right click the design layer and choose blending options. In the blend if section at the bottom, adjust this layer black slider, drag it to the right until the black disappears. Click OK. Zoom in and check the edges. Look solid, no semi-transparent pixels at all. Use these methods to remove black from your design when printing on black or even a dark gray garment to reduce ink costs and improve the look and feel. It's a small step that creates a big difference in quality and sets your work apart from hobbyists. If this helped you speed up your workflow or improve your final product, let me know in the comments below. And if you're serious about better color, better prints, and better systems, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tutorials, training, and tools to level up your DTF. Now, for some Q&A. Can I use these knockout methods to remove white instead of black? Absolutely. In fact, the first two methods, color range and magic wand, work for knocking out any color. Just click the color you want to remove instead of the black. The blend if method works the same, just move the white slider instead of the black slider. What if my black areas aren't pure black? This is totally common, especially with scanned art or low contrast designs. Use the plus eyedropper in the color range tool to select all the near black values. You can also adjust the fuzziness slider to expand the tolerance of what gets selected. Why do I need to use threshold after applying the mask? Without it, you risk having semi-transparent pixels that make your DTF transfers have a white outline when printed. It's especially noticeable if you're printing on a black shirt. Threshold forces the mask to be pure black or pure white, ensuring a crisp knockout with clean edges. Should I delete the black or just mask it out? Masking is non-destructive and gives you flexibility to tweak or reverse the knockout later. Deleting is permanent. For most production workflows, especially when you're dealing with multiple design revisions, 
Masks are just a safer bet. 